this check the freezer just nothing <laughs> He's like me, he just open up the fridge and nothing's in there. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Uh, okay. Let's see, what is it? Bluebeard's file. Bluebeard? Did I hear something snore? Pig? <sighs> oh, not again. What the fuck? You just call him? <laughs> oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah. Yeah, get out. Got a smoke? <laughs> Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. That was all you were best. saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would, if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. Oh, so I, I ate some we were of his family members? Or... I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. 
Yeah. I guess. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, no. maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Ew. <laughs> He's ugly. <laughs> so he's just gonna sleep in the chair? No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Uh, hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Now we can talk in the elevator. Bigby is in love with snow, I guess. What the? No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? No. Who was she? That was I thought I knew everyone in Fake Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Okay. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just terrible. Did you see anyone? So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It's her 
ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. did this to her. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Sorry, this is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. So dark. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Maybe there's something. No signs that it's been here. Trash can. Just some loose trash. Ah, there's more blood. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood, still wet, sharp enough. Hmm. So nothing more on this side. Let's see if we can find something else. Compare fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? I don't know. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. Skeptical? For my theory? I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway. So, we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I okay. guess it's useless okay. to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but... It's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Yeah. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take Swine a look at it. Heart. I'll meet you at the business office. Swinehart. Well. 
What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Yeah. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Asshole. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Yeah. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life, and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Oh. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Okay. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Maybe you can wrap it and get wishes. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Yeah. I questioned it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit excessive. Mm, Snow White? <laughs> uh. Well, that's okay. not what I have Let's here. Let's go to the mirror. 
made a mirror on the world. Who's hey, the asshole? magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, uh, I can't yes, help you. Yes, you can. I want to know about the... Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me yeah. Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Yeah, I guess. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Yeah. If we find that name, we can... Make him... But she's dead. Can we really see her then? Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Let's see if we can find her name. Come on. Maybe we can find the symbol of the ring. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, uh. translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Um, is, this is the ring she had. Or this is the one. Yeah. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo. I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. That's the... What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We 
you should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. But we can talk with the mirror now. We know her name is Faith. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, but... It's simply the way this has to be. Okay. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Is he dead? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Yeah. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody okay. right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Oh? Bigby, it's me, Pam. Oh. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Uh, wait, hang on. Oi, shit. Hey! Uh, what was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Hmm. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. 